Hello everyone and welcome to Kaji's channel. So, napag-usapan na natin yung bank interest income, bank interest expense, bank charges or bank fee. Ano naman yung next na pwede pa nating ma-categorize ang madali without asking our clients kung ano ba yung nature ng transaction na yun. So, kung interested kang malaman kung, kung ano yung transaction na tinutukoy ko, please keep on watching. Until the end, do not skip para wala kang mamiss na tips and tricks na i-share ko throughout the video. So, without further ado, let's get started! Kung bago ka lang sa channel na to, I'm Kaji, virtual assistant, executive assistant, bookkeeper, accountant. So, kahit anong work, pinapasok ko, basta online, kasi online work is amazing! Sa channel na ito, dinidiscuss natin more on online work, tips and tricks, and mga success stories. So, kung interested ka sa mga topics na yun, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell para wala kang mamiss na video na in-upload ni Kaji every single week. Okay, so, madali natin ma-identify si bank charges, si interest income, si interest expense, now, let me share my video kung ano ba naman yung transaction na next na i-introduce ko sa inyo para hindi na kayo mahirapan kapag nakalanda na kayo ng client or mayroon kayong next client na i-onboard. Okay, so identify na natin yung mga bank charges, bank interest income, bank interest expense. Ngayon naman, next na hahanapin natin is yung mga transfer from one bank account to another. So, yun lang kasi yung madali natin ma-identify. Okay? So, ngayon, ito tayo sa HSBC Savings HKD and we're going to find yung mga transaction na alam natin na transfer from one bank to another. So, ngayon, kung makikita nyo dito, meron ako dito ng received transaction dated January 19, 2016 amounting to 200 Hong Kong dollar. Okay? So, since ang description niya is old exchange credit, i-assume ia ko na siya ay transfer from one bank to another. Kasi makikita mo dito, possible yan na from USD, transfer siya para maging HKD. Kasi uh, exchange credit siya, ayan, gold exchange credit. Kapag nakakita kayo ng mga description na ganyan, from one currency to another yan. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin is mag-open tayo ng isang bank and hanapin natin GBP, pwedeng AUD, pwede rin namang Euro or USD. Okay? So, check natin kasi isa yan and tandaan natin yung date, which is January 16. So, so, ngayon, punta tayo sa bank statement and then hanapin natin yung date na yun. So, January 19, 2016. Okay? So, pwede nyo namang i-gamitin yung filter. Pero, for this example, hindi muna. So, January 19, 2016. Ayan. So, meron tayo dito ng transaction and reconcile na siya. Meron naman tayo dito ng withdrawal, give debit, and let's try to check ulit yung isa, which is yung USD. Kasi medyo alanganin yung description niya. Withdrawal siya. So, ito naman, wala naman yung transaction. Okay? So, itong January 19 na to. January 19, 2016. So, try natin siyang i-reconcile. So, hanapin lang natin siya. Okay. So, try natin siyang i-transfer here. Kung ano yung bank na to. Sa ay HSBC Savings. Okay? HSBC Savings. And 200 yung amount niya. So, kung nakikita mo, kanina, may nakalagay pa dito, check the exchange rate. So, ibig sabihin, kapag nag-enter ako dito, at mali yung amount na na-enter ko, hindi siya yung kamatch nun. Pero kapag ilalagay ko yung tamang transaction, then mawawala yung check the exchange rate, and pwede ko na siyang i-reconcile. So, let's try to find another example. Or kung gusto nyo naman, pwede nyo i-search, okay? Search natin dito sa savings account. So, ayan. So, January 19, 2016. Okay. And then, hanap ulit tayo ng magandang example. Okay. March 10, 2016. So, alam ko kanina na galing siya dito sa account na to. So, dito ko din siya hahanapin. So, ang date niya is March 10, 2016. 
Hinapin ko na yung amount. And ngayon, hanapin natin yung date na yun dito. So, siya ay naka-receive or spent yung hinahanap ko. Since receive siya, spent yung nga hanapin natin. Dito tayo magpo-focus. Okay, so, try natin this one. Kasi March 10, 2016. So, nag-iisa naman siya March 10, 2016. And kung iti-check natin yung ibang bank, let's say March, wala siyang March 10. Wala siyang March 10. Dito, wala rin siyang March 10. So, nag-iisa siyang March 10. Okay? So, transfer, HSBC, savings. Ilalagay ko ulit yung tamang amount, which is kinapi ko lang dito. And then, reconcile. I refresh ko to. And, eto na siya. Okay? So, another example. March 17, 2016. Received. So, I spent ulit yung hinahanap natin. So, wala. Uh, dito, meron siya. March 17, 2016. Ito siya. Nag-iisa siyang March 17, 2016. So, transfer to yan sa savings. And, ayan. So, one more example. So, refresh natin to. And then, reconcile. So, ignore ko muna itong mga naka-pin na to. Kasi kung mapapansin mo, hindi tama yung date. So, mali din yung description. So, ignore muna natin yan. And let's try this one. So, dito natin. Ayan. So, March 31, 2016. Iisa din siya. Wala siya dito. Wala siya dito. And wala din siya dito. Transfer. HSBC savings. Reconcile. And then, reconcile. So, ganyan siya. Pag nagre-reconcile tayo. Okay? So, last one. April 6, 2016. Dito na ako magpo-focus doon sa ilang po na ito ay dito lang nanggagaling yung transfer. So, hindi na ako magtitingin sa ibang bank. So, transfer. HSBC savings. Copy the amount. And then, reconcile. Okay? So, yun yung tinatawag natin na bank transfer from one bank to another. So, again, kapag may nakikita kayong Gold exchange na description, possible na yan ay transfer from one currency. Same bank siya, pero magkaibang currency. Okay? So, ngayon natutunan na natin bank fee, bank charges, interest fee or interest income, and then yung ating transfer from one bank to another and kung paano natin siya i-analyze. Okay? So, sana marami kayong natutunan sa video na to. And if you want more videos like this, just let me know sa comment section. And let me know then if you find it very useful or helpful uh, para sa inyong mga virtual bookkeeper. And kung meron kayong ibang topic na gustong matakaw ni, ni Kaji dito sa YouTube channel niya, just let me know and Kaji will try to create more videos just for you. I'll see you sa next video ko. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,